Yo, what's going on guys? ADTR for life here. Uh, bringing you guys a top 100 legend Jade Druid decklist. Now obviously, I'm not top 100. I'm not even legend. I'm only ranked 10. Why is that? Because I've just been messing around on the ladder, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, I've been just trying out all sorts of crazy combinations, crazy decks. But you know what? It's about time that I got a little bit more serious about my climb. So uh, I'm going to try out this deck list. I haven't really tried it yet. Like, I haven't played Jade Druid since it was last popular. Um, you know, like last expansion or whatever. Like a long time ago, really, when it first came into flourishing. Just because I didn't really play Hearthstone much before Knights of the Frozen Throne. Uh, dropped just because of the stale meta, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, the biggest change that this deck has had recently is they're adding two mind control attacks. So they're running, you know, the normal Jade uh, Spreading Plague build uh, with Malfury and the Malef... Male what the fuck is it called? Malfurion the Pestilent. Sorry, I almost said something completely different. Uh, anyway, so let's get into some games, but... Yeah, uh, so mind control tech actually coming in really, really good, I guess, like in the mirror matches or if someone floods a board, yada, yada, yada. Really cool tech choice that I've never really thought of considering. I actually had to craft mind control techs because I haven't used them since, you know, Reno Mage and Reno Lock and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to see how this deck performs. Um, and yeah, well, you know, I've played against many Jagro Jade Ro uh, Druid on the ladder, sorry. Played against many Jade Druids on the ladder. But I always counter them with, like, you know, Skulking Geist and then have board clears and stuff. But sometimes it's not enough. Sometimes Jade Druid still gets there, so we'll see what happens. I know that using your Jade Idols, if they're playing a control deck, like, Mage might run. Mage might run uh, Skulking Geist. So, oh, she we might actually keep Nourish here. I wonder if we Nourish for the Crystals, though. Yeah, fuck it. I'll keep it. I'll throw back these things. Because on turn, what is that? Two? I can nourish for crystals? Eh, we'll see what happens. So you basically got three extra mana from uh, Innervating Coin. Alright, Waygate Mage. This is going to be kind of tough, I think. We'll see. We'll get it done. Ew. Not the best start. Hello. Not the best start. Wow, there's another innovate. I mean, I could save it. So I could just go like innovate, coin, nourish for the crystals. So I'll be on five mana next turn. I'm also going to be linking the deck list in the description if you guys are curious on the deck build. You can just kind of copy paste it's another wild growth. That's definitely good. Challenges the T3. You could just like ping and trade. That's fine too. Is this really still going to ping and trade? That's incredible. There's another an another wild growth. So basically, next turn we could use ultimate infestation. They play a secret. We have the we have the innervate because I definitely want to play it asap. Okay, cool. That'll work. But what if we just wait the extra turn? Make a pretty big swing play with Kuhn into Behemoth. Turn six, all they could really do is freeze the board. And then we could play Ultimate Infestation. Maybe it's just better just to actually play Ultimate Infestation and get the cards so we can make a bigger Kuhn combo. Right? Amazing indeed. Like, the next question is, do we play Kuhn and then, like, play Behemoth into Jade Blossom? I mean, we could do that. 
But again, they could just kind of have board clears and freezes and, and such, so it's kind of scary. But I think we're going to have to go for it anyway. We're going to definitely save Fangel. You just do that. Just make a big board. Um, you know, they might... They might just, you know... Oh, well, yeah, Blizzard works too. Blizzard's totally fine. Let's just throw this down and then Hero Power. I don't want to invest too much into the board in case they have a board clear. Like, you know, obviously playing MCT or Fangdral doesn't really make sense anyway, so... Uh, the board's already kind of big enough. They would need, like, a Flame Strike, but they're still taking 7. They would need, like, a Frost Nova Doomsayer to kind of save them. Okay. And a Sheep. That's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and play MCT to see what spell this is. Or Secret, I mean. So it's not that. That's fine. I wonder if it could be like a counter spell. Yep, I knew it. Oh, Spellbender. Okay, that's fine. So it's just Spellbender? So we can pop her next turn. She gonna ping? Okay. So we pop her here, we'll trade with all our shit. She might be getting ready to blizzard again. Go ahead and probably go with Jade Idol. Actually, no. I mean, we could just leave the board like this. I think I might just run out Malfurion the Pestilent just to sort of... Uh... Like, we're only going to be able to make one Taunt or whatever, or one whatever. I'm just going to make a Poisonous Spider. It really doesn't matter. We've got seven cards. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. We'll just shuffle three jades. Might as well. Yep, there's Blizzard, and they better have another, uh, another, uh, secret. Because if not, I'm gonna come, uh, I'm gonna come looking. So it could be either armor or, yeah, see, it's ice block. That's fine. What is she's Aya. How many more spells does she need? Two. Okay. That's dangerous. Raw shock. Alright. 
All growth makes sense. Nice. GG. All right, so that happened. We didn't even really do much as far as like making jades and stuff. We just kind of, uh, I don't know, I guess we played smart, you know. Yeah, you just really have to depend on Mage not having the right combination of cards to help get her there. He augs her wrong, that's crazy. And I guess she was dead anyway, right? So when all else fails, just throw a Hail Mary. Hunter, alright, this is the class I wanted to test against. I'm definitely sure that we can beat Hunter. Uh, Innervate Meyer Keeper for the growth, maybe. I'm actually going to throw it back. I want to try and maybe get a Nourish or something. Nope, MCT is not, actually not too bad in this matchup. Greetings, a lot of people are saying hello today. That's, that's cool. My I think you just get silent gameplay. <laughs> hmm. No play. So next we'll just Nourish. Most likely for the crystals. Nourish for the crystals, go to five, and then play Jade Behemoth the turn after that. So we'll have a turn for Jade Behemoth. That's interesting. I hope that's Freezing Trap, because then I'll get a Jade Behemoth back and play for 8. I don't mind doing that at all. Next turn, I'll just play Maltherian. <laughs> so I'll like trade, trade. I knew it. Oh, Snake Trap. Interesting. Very interesting. You don't see that every day, that's for sure. Now, I think in this regard, I'm not going to get the taunts. I'm going to go ahead and get the poisonous spiders. Uh, so that way I can just trade into his board. Because he has no board clears. Aside from maybe... Uh, maybe... Uh, you know, like explosive trap. But if he's running the deck that I created, then he's not running Explosive Trap. Because I made a token hunter deck that uh, excels really well at generating board tokens and then using, um, using, uh, okay, trade, trade. So definitely going to Wild Growth.
Do that. Make a 3-3. Three, three. And then we'll go ahead and uh, attack into this so he can't get a crazy amount of uh, little tiny uh, rats and shit. So we'll just do that. Seems fine. And then next turn we can ultimate infestation. Preferably a high main. So we'll see. Perfect. So we can do that and then he'll just be left with a 2-2 two because -two we'll trade with the 3-3. Uh, three -three. And another one. Crazy. This card is so good. So that's our last Jade Idol, so we have to shuffle that eventually. Now he basically needs Houndmaster, and I think next turn we're just going to flood the board with Aya and Jade Spirit. Skill Command. It's pretty good. Trade in probably a hero power or another another minion of some sort. Rad pack. All right. Kind of annoying. I mean, I might just actually play Aya and then hero power down the uh, two two. Actually, I don't have to. Let's just actually be aggressive here. We could just, like I said, we could just be aggressive. Uh, even if he buffs it and then trades, uh, he still needs, like, a Tundra Rhino for it to actually make sense. So, we'll see. Princess Huhuron. It's pretty interesting. So, we can now MCT get some value. <laughs> oh, that was too good. That was too freaking good. You know, and I think we will just play a 7-7. Seven, seven. Because now he's dead. I mean, we don't need the value of this game. We still have 13 cards left. We're, we're going to be totally fine. That was good. All right. We'll play uh, one more just to give uh, get an overall scope of this deck. So we've seen it play... Well, I guess twice over very aggressively. I mean, obviously against uh, Quest Mage, you have to be. And Hunter, if you, you know, we actually did keep the board quite clear. You know, we played defensively and, and uh, you know, smart in the beginning. And then we just went full aggro, full board clear, fill the board, go face. Uh, while keeping his board clear. So, you know, pretty good. Not too bad. Not too bad. So I guess he wasn't playing my token deck because we don't run blow bats or princess who who run. And now a mirror matchup. This is going to be really interesting. Obviously, we're going to save the wild growth, and we'll throw everything back. Because we just need to ramp hard and fast. That's what she said. Jade Idol's a good start. Wall growth, all right. I mean, I kind of figured he was going to do that. There's no way he's going to coin out a hero power. So play our wall growth. And 
we have two wraths to help with the board the board clear. Um Okay. It's pretty good for turn three. That's like the perfect start. Yeah, I don't know if we should probably save our wraths for like bigger threats, but we do need the card draw. Only we had that last turn. So he's he might nourish here for the for the ramp. Okay, he also doesn't have it. So now we kind of have the upper hand as far as ramp goes because we're gonna be able to excel. A little bit faster. We're going to be one crystal ahead of him, I think. Because we're going to be on our seven right now. Two mana crystals. I don't know if we should Wrath to draw. Yeah, probably, huh? That's probably the smartest thing to do. Another Nourish. So we can get to 10 and then play Ultimate Infestation the very next turn. So we could just, uh, we could actually just Natty for the Crystals, and that's already max. And then we'll just play the Jade Blossom just to play the Jade Blossom. Ew. That's not good. That's not good, neither. It's pretty good. Pretty good play. So we're still going to do this. Hmm. Kind of awkward. We could play Jade Blossom. Kind of thinking swipe on this, though. So let's hope he doesn't have anything else to combo with Fangdrill. He has, like, a Nourish or something. We're just screwed. Okay. It's actually not too bad, I guess. So we also have to remember that it's our last Jade Idol right there. It's another one. Okay. MCT is actually a pretty good pickup too. Right, eight cards. So I guess we'll just use MCT to get see who we get, and hopefully we get the taunt. And that'd be amazing. Perfect. That was beautiful, boys. And then we could just uh, stuff more Jade Idols in the deck, but I don't think we will. Just leave it at that. That was actually really, really good. MCT is so freaking Pog Champ. Hopefully it doesn't have anything. One could hope. He's thinking about maybe like trade with the three three and the and the two two and then trade the three two into maybe the three three, MCT. I mean, there's ways that he can kind of clear the board a little bit. Earth and skills, okay. I didn't know they still ran that. He 
So a swipe. Okay. So I end up with a 4 4. So we'll just trade and then we'll fill the board. Wow, an innervate. Don't think we need the innervate right now. We'll just do this. Then we'll just do this. And let the games begin. He could stall us with spreading plague right here, though. So we'll see what happens. So how can we do this? Trade. Innervate, hero power. That's it. Beautiful. Well, wow. well, there you go. Uh, sometimes Jade Druid. This is ridiculous. So I'm definitely going to be trying to grind the hell out of this deck. I might stream it later on tonight, not really sure, but I am definitely going to be streaming some J-Druid now that we have only like 10 days left in the season. Uh, hopefully I could get uh, above rank 5, which I do every season, so it shouldn't be that hard. I just got to sit down with a good deck, grind it out, and we'll see it. So yeah, definitely a Cancer's deck. Top 100 Legend deck all around. Um, I went 3-0 and with it. Uh, wasn't even really nervous. I mean, never really had a problem, never really had a doubt. Uh, you know, the quest mage was a little bit shaky, but we ended up getting there anyway through aggression. Um, so yeah, again, guys, deck list is down at the bottom. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I love all you guys. Make sure you subscribe. Hit me in the comment section if you guys have any comments, questions. If you guys want to see me play a particular deck, let me know and I can do that for you guys. Uh, even if you just want to talk shit, go ahead. I don't care. It's all love in the end. Uh, and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it again, guys, from the bottom of my heart. And I will see you guys next time. Deuces.